Hello everyone, I'm back with another cooking tutorial. Today I'm making a, a dish that I used to have when I was a kid all the time and it's, uh, we call it, my mom called it um, ground meat and mashed potatoes. But um, I've also heard it called yakky. <laughs> so I'm gonna make, I'm making this up. It's a really good like stick to your ribs uh, kind of food. What I'm doing here is I'm browning. I've got less than a pound, maybe about three-fourths of a pound of ground beef. And I'm browning it, browning it up. And as soon as it gets brown, all I'm going to do is add a sauce, and I'm going to then um, let it cook down. So what I've done over here, I'm going to move the camera a little bit this way. Okay, so what I've got over here is two cups of water. To that I put two heaping tablespoons of flour and one heaping tablespoon of granulated uh, bouillon. And that is it. That is our roux mixture. I don't, you, I don't add any butter. You don't really need any butter because there's oil and, um, you know, fatty oil in the uh, meat. And I'm just going to mix this up while the meat is browning. And I'm going to take my lumps and like take my spoon and press these lumps up against the, uh, up against the wall of these, uh, of this um, Pyrex uh, measuring cup. And then I'm just going to get this really stirred up. This is a great dish, and how you serve it, I'm going to show it at the end, but what you do is you make some mashed potatoes, and then you just put a hole in your mashed potatoes, and you put the meat and the gravy in the center of the hole, where you normally would just have gravy in the center of the hole. You put meat and potato. Okay, so I've got this uh, roux kind of mixed up pretty good. Let's turn back over to the meat on the stove. It's just about there. There's just a couple little red spots. So I'm going to just give this chopped up. Now, I like it pretty chopped up pretty good. I mean, you can have it in larger chunks if you want. Um, but this is how I remember it, and this is how I, I always like to eat it. And this is, you know, childhood food, peasant food, I guess, cheap food. And that yakky thing, I'm not even sure, you know, <laughs> where where that came from. But I have heard it called that, yakky. Okay, so here we go. Ground meat mashed potatoes. That's just about ready. I wanted to show you too that the potato is real simple. You just dice them into cubes in water, and then you're going to boil them until they're soft with a fork, and then you mash them and add whatever you want. I'm just going to add um, a little bit of milk and uh, butter. I don't, I don't. You can put sour cream, all sorts of things in your potatoes. I make pretty standard mashed potatoes. Okay, these are just about ready. So what I'm going to do now is just add a couple shots of uh, soy sauce, like that, and then I'm going to. Uh, Give this another stir before I add it back in, because maybe some of that flour has settled to the bottom. Okay, mix it up and pour it in. Okay, that's it. It's going to cook down, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to turn it down to a simmer and slow cook it, and it's going to cook down and into a nice thick gravy with the meat, and I'll turn the camera back on when it's done, and I'm going to show you how to serve it up with the mashed potatoes. Back in a bit. I'm back. It's a little over an hour later, and I've been cooking this down in a medium heat. This is, I'm going to stop right here, because this is how I like it, like that much uh, gravy. But you can even keep going if you want less liquid gravy, and it'll just keep thickening up and thickening up. But I like a little bit of juice, a little bit of gravy. Um, and this is another one of those foods that probably originated just out of poverty, trying to stretch, you know. So instead of making a couple of hamburgers and feed two people, you can make this and feed, you know, four people. But it's really, really delicious, and um, I eat it all the time. Um, over here, I'm going to just plate it up for you right on camera. So I've got my mashed potatoes, so I'm going to get myself a good uh, couple of scoops of mashed potatoes, like so. And then I'm going to make a, uh, you know, a little pocket in the middle, a little hole in the middle. And then we are going to take some of this ground meat mashed potatoes and we're going to scoop it out. Let me get over uh, back over to the, the pan. Okay, so here we go. We got this the ground the potatoes, ground meat mashed potatoes, and just spoon it all over right in the middle and just a little bit like coming out the top, just like that. Perfect, delicious, hearty, stick to your ribs meal. Ground meat and mashed potatoes, or sometimes called yakki. Enjoy.